Hello, my name is Olivia Jones and today I'm going to inform you of the differences between llamas and alpacas. It's important to know the difference because not knowing makes you look silly to all those people that do know. So after I'm done speaking today, you'll be a pro at knowing the difference. But how am I qualified to inform you of this information? I just so happen to have 20 llamas and 25 alpacas. I've also shown them in 4-H for 10 years, so I feel pretty qualified. First I'm going to talk about the size difference. Here's a picture comparing llamas and alpacas next to each other so that you get a good visual image. Llamas stand about a foot taller than alpacas. Alpacas are usually between 4 and 5 feet tall and they weigh between 100 and 200 pounds. Llamas stand between 5 and 6 feet tall and weigh about 250 to 350 pounds. Now I'm going to talk about those funky ears. Llamas have what we call banana shaped ears. They curve inward, some more than others. Unlike llama ears, which are curved, alpaca ears are for the most part straight. Alpaca ears are also much shorter than llama ears. Here's a picture of alpaca ears, very straight and short. And here's a picture of llama ears. These ones are really curved. Moving along in looks, a llama's nose is much bigger than an alpaca's. Their snout is longer and the bridge of their nose is much bigger. Next I'm going to talk about the difference in fleece. Llama fleece is much longer and coarser than alpaca fleece. Alpaca fleece is a better quality and softer. Before they're shaved, they look like big cotton balls like this one. While llamas kind of look like they have dreadlocks like this one. Speaking of hair, let me tell you about their haircuts. When an alpaca gets sheared, they look like a deer or a stick pony. They get lion manes and leg warmers. Those poor guys. Here's a picture of some. Llamas get sheared in what we call a barrel style. They are sheared around their armpits and bellies so that they'll stay cool in the summer. If they don't stand still, some llamas get mohawks on their bellies. Here's a barrel shear. Now that I've gone through all the differences in llamas and alpacas, I hope that when you encounter them, you'll be able to tell the difference unlike some people who say they look like big sheep. Thank you.